drifting among the stars for a long time. But nothing has caught my gravity as much as this smiling earth did. I watch over its inhabitants from far away. They seem to always be in the dark, fearing things that they cannot see. But I am here to offer my borrowed shine to them. If that is the only way that I can help, I can never compare with the light of the brighter star that the earth gravitates around. Even so, they still look up at me, trying to reach me, but never able to. I am the only one of my kind in miles, but I am not lonely. How could I be? When my core is filled with the laughter and bright spirits that look up to me, I travel round and round the earth mesmerized by its lively inhabitants, but every time this one little bunny catches my interest, and I wish to protect his clumsy little bouncing steps. <laughs> every time I see him. Fear it might be the last, and then he looks up at me with those little eyes of his, <laughs> shimmering in the faint light that I strive hard each time to offer him. Take care, little one. That feeling, deep in my stomach, a tight knot of anticipation, wondering if she will like my gift. I haven't got long left in my journey, not long until I can give her what I brought all this way. It only started this afternoon. I've been thinking, remembering all the times I've been in trouble, and how I only ever got away from the foxes because of her light. When I formed my plan, a gift. For my lady, my protector. I'd hopped across my field, looking for a suitable gift. I'd examined the finest twigs I could find, the smoothest of pebbles, searching for the right thing to offer. But not even the most beautiful dandelion was right. Especially not after the seeds had tickled my nose, causing me to sneeze the rest right off the stem. I have my gift now. I'm holding it tight as I head closer to her. She's lighting up my vision, filling my thoughts with her beauty. I hope she'll like my gift. I know she will. It's 
spent at least 10 minutes chewing through the stem. I wanted it to be a neat cut, so I'd taken my time and nibbled carefully. When I was done, the whole rose began to fall. I moved fast to catch it. I didn't want the soft white petals to be spoiled by the ground. My gift had to be perfect. My lady deserves the best. She's been there for me more times than I can remember, lighting up my field, keeping me and my brothers safe from foxes. I'm getting closer to her now. It won't be long before I can give her the present. It even looks a bit like her when the light hits it just right. There had been some loud event happening in the garden by my field. Big humans stomped around, shaking the ground and being loud. No rabbit would go near all that noise normally, but I had a mission. I remember squeezing through a gap in the fence, white rose in my paw, heading straight for the balloons. A few quick bites and the ribbons came free, and a small bunny like me was no difficulty for them to lift. So here I am, floating towards my lady. Rose in one paw and my determination in the other. Soon my lady will get her gift and will know that I am thankful. Your light fills my vision and your protection fills my heart. May this gift remind you of this brave little rabbit's wish to give something back. Even if it's just a simple white rose.